Hey guys, welcome. Um, haven't done too much on here. I know it's been a, over a week since my last update. Um, but I've gotten a few things and I'm still needing to get a few things. But I can run trains and come down here and run a few trains and have some fun. Um, so let me update you on what's going on. Um, still got this hooked up like this. I need to get some more barrier strips. Um, I got a 16 gauge wire at work. Um, Cause I can get this cheap at work. Uh, this is 30 feet of it and sections going to my uh, barrier strips. This will be my bus line coming in. Um, this is stranded wire. It's not solid state, but it's fine. It's what I've used before. And I've always gotten good signal to my track. And plus being 16 gauge should give me a very good signal. Um, I'll solder 10 or 10 the leads on here to go into the Digitrack system. Um, this part of the of the uh, track I'm fine with. Um, I'll probably run that, drop a couple feeders on this side that I need. Um, what I need to get in the future, I think I'm going to move, excuse me for the camera, I'm going to move this town here probably up into this section here. And what I'll put over here is my farm. I'll move it from the back section back there and I'm going to move it up here. And the name of this town will be called River Falls. Um, because this will have the, the waterfall into the river coming through here. Um, may have a small country road that runs through here and then connects the town. Um, I'm not sure, depending on what I'm going to do with that. Um, the back here I want to put on a riser. I didn't anticipate for the, the four inches that, that incline decline starter set will take up a lot of distance to get up to the four inches. I would have to start it back here somewhere uh, in my industrial area, which I'll get to in a minute, and bring it up. Um, I still have some uh, probably 2% grade incline starters, which would get me up to an inch, and I've got plenty of one-inch foam left. So I may put that track up just an inch. Two, if I can get there, I'll look and see. I may have to purchase some inclines and figure that out. Um, but that's what I'm going to do with that. And then probably have an, another newer viaduct, the Cato viaduct that you can buy uh, running under here. I know they make a green one. I've seen that. It's hard. If not, I'll get the black one and I'll, I'll actually paint it green. Um, even though I do run Santa Fe, this is starting to turn into ICG, which is fine. I grew up with the railroad and... Um, you know, that's they say you model what you know. And so I grew up wanting to watch watch Santa Fe and when railroad Santa Fe and and that was my first engine was a Santa Fe engine, but then I always got to see these engines all the time. Um so that makes sense. Um so what I would do with that Videx, paint it green and then get the little eye like they put on this engine, they put on all their bridges all over. Um so you knew it was Illinois Central Gulf. Um so Continuing on, I did get some of these little clips to put my uh, feeder wires into. This holds a very small wire in there. Um, so I can use that gauge. It fits in there. That'll make a solid connection with those. Uh, these ends, I cannot get one that fits the bigger gauge wire that will fit into here. Um, that's fine. I may try it out. It may work, but if, if that's the case, I'll get another, I only get these for like a buck. So um, I may get it for this because this should be a 16 gauge also. Maybe not. This may be 14 gauge. Um, it actually looks like 14 gauge. So 16 gauge may work with these. So I'm going to try that too. But I definitely got to get more barrier strips to go underneath and more of the Cato feeder wires. So what I have gotten is off a uh, Facebook sale page i've gotten a couple more pieces of switches i haven't gotten but i've gotten this one was practically hardly used um if any use on it uh new um this is going to be for my engine area once i figure out how i'm going to run it up in there and then i also got this number four i got both of those for thirty dollars um which is a great deal um 
So I'm going to run this number four right here. This will be a run around track in my yard. My yard's almost done. Um, I think it's going to be done because I just figured it out before I started making this video. Um, this will be the run around track of the three yard track or three yard track. Um, then it's going to come in here. I'm going to have it curve up into here. And this shop building will be right here. So it could go in there. We can have a shop, car shop in here in the yard. Over here, like I said, will be my engine area. Um, probably once I figure this out, I'm going to uh, talk to Vinny and get with him about possibly seeing about scratch building a two stall engine house. Um, it's a little bit more modern that would fit um, like 70 ish, early 80s. Um, and then the coal or the power plant will stay there. Um, and I'll have two tracks going into it, probably on this side between the shop building. A little GMO shop, I'm not sure what I'll do with it yet. Um, that could be some other different type of industry in this area. But that'll be there. Be a bunch of coal in here, some coal piles. They'll bring it in. There'll be the coal dump. One track for full, one track for empties. That's fine. And then what I plan to do is off of here, I got a couple more number sixes. Off this right here in front of this, I want to run number six up, 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 up into here and have some leads. And I'm hoping to purchase two of the bigger Walters Industrial Kits buildings. Put them in here. Um, then backdrop this right here with industrial flats to give it a nice, like, industrial, heavy industrial look. Um, and then I kind of separate down into this more urban town. Um, so I still then eventually over time need some more buildings for my town. The station, I think, has to stay here. I, I like it in my other town, but I don't know where I can fit it in the track plan over there to have service. It, it wouldn't be in a good spot. So, right there, it'll stay. Lumberyard's going to stay. I've got a, my building got a little damage get stored. Um, I'll have to fix it. That was my first scratch build. Uh, the office looks very nice. This was it's my first scratch build. I think it turned out okay. I need to... Uh, fix it you know obviously from getting i'm gonna like redo those posts anyway so and uh we'll have a scene there lumber yard may be served off the main with a switch right here i still need a crossing here it either be here maybe right in here and i'll move it back here a little bit and this will be all like buildings like these dmp buildings filled in and um how i made them and i'll do that in the future again i think if you look back at some of my other previous videos you see how I did this one. Um, so that's what I'm planning for that. Um, probably what I'm going to do in the next week is paint back here. If you're listening, Container Man, I know you got on me about Pink Panther. <laughs> so I'm going to paint this. I have a can of gray flat, I think, exterior. This should cover this foam fine. I'm going to go all the way down, down to down, down, all the way down to maybe where that ladder is and paint that. But i got to pull the layout out to do that. So I'll have my dad come over. We'll kind of clean up underneath it and I'll pull it out. Because um, it's not level because I shimmed it up too much in some spots because I kind of have an unlevel basement floor. So, um, um, so what I'm going to do is that and then I can hang up some decorations which I'll have previous videos about. That's fine. Um, um, then I'll take the backdrop and it's because I have this wood strip it'll still be out here that holds that foam in with tap cons uh, it's strong what I'm gonna do is take that well my like mesa board or whatever you want to call it that I do my background on and I will actually put it to that attach it to that drill it to that in the back and leave the layout out a little bit like this because it'll give me a good 3d like i think effect towards the background to the layout and it'll be up close to it enough where i don't have to worry about trains falling through and then um that's what i'm going to do with it i think that's the plan and then of course attach the back to this back of the layout these are going to stay right where they are i'm going to fix the rocks a little bit and then i also have to get some uh, plaster cloth fix that that's going to go i'll take the trees off of it and I'll put some more, maybe make another hill. That'll be a separate video. 
Um, I've got a lot of these trees. So we may put some of these pine trees over here. Some of those ugly looking woodland scenic ones, which I may try to fix up and look a little better. And some other trees mucks in here mix. Because then it starts to go from the rural area back out into, or urban and back into rural. Um, so there's my farm house and farm and barn that'll move over to the other side. Because um, it makes more sense over there than it would here in a big industrial area. So, um, and last but not least on the yard, I talked about what I want to do. I think if I put this little section in here um, and move this ladder up and move everything up a little bit, as you can see, if I move it up, up, that pushes everything up a little bit. Um, because this turnout here will stay. But this is where, right here is a section that I'm going to move up. And I think if I do that, everything in the yard falls together. And um, that will look great. Now it should make this yard um, come together. Um, so I'm going to work on that today. Hope I get my other two pieces. Should be coming today. Um, and... I'll uh, kind of get a better idea of what my leads into the industrial area are going to look like. But I still need a bunch of these straight pieces. I'm out. This is my last one. And um, I got this used. And somebody really abused this one with solder on here. Looks like they're trying to do a uh, maybe a feeder to that. Um, so... That's going to take a little work to get that off, but it should come off cleanly with a soldering iron. I may have to cut that little thing off there, but that's not a big deal. If it's in the yard, perfect. Uh, take out some more of these insulators that are on the main part of the yard. Um, and a couple on my main line are there, which i got to take out. The whole back main line is new. Uh, most of this main line is all new. But definitely the back, all the way back there, coming around is new, so there's no... Uh, insulators and that so it's a couple of spots and that's kind of where I'm at um, so not much of an update just more plans than anything else so stay tuned next uh, segment here I hope to have the yard done and I'll show you running a loco over it that'd be nice um, and hopefully my switches come here today because it's early morning so I'm making this video and I'll get to working on the yard and get some laundry going make my wife happy and uh, that'll, be, that'll be it for this section of the video. Uh, so stay tuned. Hopefully have the yard running. I'll show you a loco running through it, checking it out, see if everything jives up and works. Alrighty, guys. Well, I got done what I could get done today. Um, I think the yard ladder, let me take a look, get around my stool here. Yard ladder seems to be in here. Come back a little more, take a look here. Um... This is the new switch I put in. This is one of my new ones I got on the Facebook sale. I found I got three new uh, switch number sixes for, they were 18 a piece, still new in the box. Um, so that was fairly decent price. Um, so I couldn't pass that up. So yard ladders in for now on this end, uh, following up, everything seems to work. Had a little issue, um, where was it? I think right in here um, kind of sits up a little. I think I need to replace that unit joiner there, and I think that'll be fine. I fixed the other one, it seems to be working, but still up a little bit. There's where I have to finish. I need to get the pieces of track I need to finish that, um, which I got coming, and I have to get a few more pieces of track also. Um, I think I'm going to need a couple more turnouts, at least one more. Um, I'm going to have to wait and see. And pick up a couple industrial buildings um, to as I talked about in the previous section um, only issue I'm having is when I th open or close when I open this switch turns off power to the main line I don't have a short it just stops running on the main line past it so I don't know if it just needs feeders or I need to figure out um, you know use some insulators and figure out the polarity issue I'm having but I'm still working on it so not a big deal for now um, I'll have that straightened away before I decide to glue this down and put this down where to put my feeders 
um, for sure. So as of right now, I'll have a feeder definitely before the yard, oops, up there. And I'm gonna have one down here, as you saw, right here before this switch. That may make a difference, I don't know. So we'll see, um, stay tuned for the next update. I hope to have some more materials and uh, maybe a few mail call items as well. So uh, everybody have a good weekend and uh, I'll catch you guys in your videos. Thanks.